This update is continuation on the reservoir construction but also on operation of the boiler. Um, this winter we've had unusually clear weather and so it hasn't been raining but I built the um, boiler structure or tent, call it my boiler house to shelter it so I could run it during the rain and as of yesterday it started raining with a nice little set of clouds coming in for the next week or so. The latest improvements, I'm gonna, it's not raining very hard but it is raining so I don't want to get the camera wet. Um, I threw some insulation on the pipes which used to be just hanging out there red and at least all the ones that have water in them, hot water. It's running under here. I haven't yet dug the channel to bury them in the ground. And the boiler's running. Um, that steam coming out of the top of the boiler, not smoke. So it's running great and burning clean. Um, let's see, I'll go around the other side, and that'll show the <clears throat> new reservoir. So, I don't have it completely finished yet, but I got a layer of R13 insulation in the 2x4 studs that are the vertical wall supports, and then I put a nine inch layer of insulation around the outside of that. I still need to zip that up. And then I just laid some two by sixes over the top of the reservoir and put two sheets of four by eight plywood on top of that. So now I have a deck and I can get up inside and I'm nice and dry and everything's running well. Here's the wood chip feed. It's been running for, oh, maybe an hour now. And you can hear it dropping chips now and then. And you can just barely see down into the fire zone down there. That's looking down through the wood chip feed tube. And again, that's the gear motor with speed reducer. And you can see that's how fast the gear motor is turning. And then you really, you have to watch a while to see the actual um, auger shaft turn because it's turning about once a minute or so. And now with this deck I can come up on top and walk around and um, because I have the tarps I put the ladder there to keep the tarp out away from the heat and I put that just a hunk of um, sheet metal just to kind of deflect the hottest gases when I have the top open I have that um, lid right there that I can open up when I'm starting it up so I don't push the startup smoke through the boiler and then what's going to happen in a while is I will tear down all of this wood structure and rebuild the burner and put a new higher pressure boiler in for turbine experiments that I'll be doing and now I have this nice big experiment room basically and so all of this will tear down and the boiler will move 
inside the tent, kind of to the middle of this bay here. So then I won't have to do the Mickey Mouse ladder trick with the tarp because the boiler will be centered more in the room. And then um, this will be the turbine laboratory for developing the turbines and getting things going. So that's a little update for the time being. And um, everything's going great and it's really nice to be able to stand up here. This, um, now I can just reach up here and hook the tarps up and I hooked it up so that I have plenty of airflow coming through and um, but I can do that by just walking up rather than working off of ladders and that's 12 feet off the ground there and the roof is about um, well, it's another 8 feet so it's about 20 feet to the peak of the roof and the room is about 20 feet by 18 feet or so footprint. So that's, that's what's up for now.